year round, 12 o'clock. I remember fast time. You want to orient the house at right angles to that. It's a sine wave, the energy you get. And so in the summertime, we have a lot of sunshine. You have to get up pretty early. Rises over here and sets back over here. In the summertime, it goes in this high parabolic arc above your head. And it's above 60 degrees. Think of the 30, 60, 90 triangle. It's above 60 degrees most of the time, reaching a high point of 72 degrees. And so in the wintertime, the sun goes way down. It loses 50 degrees of altitude. It goes from 72 to 22. And we're, we're approaching that. We're within 5 degrees of that now. And in the wintertime, it doesn't rise its head here. It rises there and sets over here. At this low angle, it actually shines, and you will see it. It shines in the house some 12 or 13 feet. So in wintertime, you can stand inside that door and be in the sun all day long. In the summertime, if you're standing inside that door, the sun will not shine on you because it only shines in there 16 inches. So in the summertime, we only get the sun until 9.30 in the morning. It's gone by 3.30 in the afternoon. In the wintertime, it's there all day long. And we get a tremendous amount of it. And I will show you my hands-on demonstration. I think you can see it from where you are. Get the thing correct here. It takes me a minute sometimes. And what I'm indicating is the reflection. Oh, here's some more. The reflection of the sun off the glass. There we go. Yeah. I get the angle right. Yeah. See my hand? Yeah. That's the energy being rejected by the glass. Mm -hmm. And there's my hand directly in the sun. And you can see that the hand directly in the sun mm -hmm. is much darker than this one. Yeah. If you do this in July or June, this shadow is almost as dark as that shadow. Because with the sun at a high angle, some 70% of the energy is rejected. The sun at a low angle, only 30% is rejected. That's another issue that nobody much thinks about. Yet another issue. Why do these houses perform better? On a sunny day, it's warm. This house isn't losing any energy for four or five hours through the south wall. We can tell you also that sees those of you who want to think about it, 2,500 freeze thaw cycles in the winter. Add any water to that, you have a big problem. So again, there's some ways to think about solar. And these houses perform way better than people understand or will even accept because all these minor items that I talked to you about, evaporating water, warm south walls, I can give you a list that long, are not thought of by the typical heat loss, heat gain calculation or whatever. Any of you that are architects or involved in building go through that exercise. It doesn't address our houses at all. I often get rejected when I submit that. And I cheat on mine and submit double the amount of energy the house really needs, and it isn't even accepted then. The, another issue, this house or all our houses left alone in the wintertime. The owner wants to go to the Caribbean. Today or yesterday, turn the key in the door, go south, come back in three months. With the fan on, and you'll get to see that, this house has a temperature break even. Typically, it's between 42 and 44 degrees. It never goes below that. It won't freeze. Your house will freeze in 8 or 10 hours at 20, 10 degrees outside in the wintertime. This house will never freeze. So we are heating to the design load here, which is probably minus 3 or minus 5. I didn't look it up. We're heating to 42 up. And that's a plus of 40, 45 degrees to start mm. with. Maybe you're going to get somewhere, you know. Another issue. There's a fan operating in here. I don't know if the owners left a fan on or not. They left in a big hurry yesterday. But there's a fan operating. Is it on, Joe? It's on. The fan is on. The fan does many things for us. The fan came about in my design exercise because in a sunny day, like today, worse yet, with snow on the ground out here, the snow is an 85% efficient reflector. And the reflection of the sun off the snow adds 20% more energy to the house. The biggest single problem this has is a sunny winter's day with snow on the ground. It tends to drastically overheat. There's so much more energy than the house needs that the temperatures go to 120 or even 130 degrees. And houses were done like that. And the windows are all open at 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock at night your furnace is going. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. We move air. The air is taken from the highest places. It's delivered to and taken from every single room three times each hour. The air goes through a filter three times each hour, all the air in this house. And we use minimum of MERV 8 filters. 
the, we don't go to HEPA, which is hospital grade, because they retard your fan too much. It takes more horsepower. And we've done a whole bunch of testing, and our filtration is nearly 99% as good as the best filtration you can get. This particular house has an electronic air cleaner, which is no better than a fixed air cleaner. We've monitored these things. Anyway, because the fan runs all the time, we have some benefits. We're able to not have the house overheat. We can store away the extra free energy and give it back to you that night or the next day. We actually lose about 15 or 18 percent of it through the insulation in the ground. Four inches of urethane. No crushed stone here. This whole house sits in a bed of crushed stone. And this crushed stone is drained over the bank. And the house sits on a fantastic membrane. Think swimming pool liner. We don't have any water get to our insulation system. That's not the way your houses are. Those of you who have cellars, I would challenge you to go home this weekend and put on a six foot square piece of poly on your concrete floor and get down there two or three days later and count the water droplets. And think about the fact that you are spending and have spent 10% of your heating bill drying out the ground underneath where you live and you're never going to make it. Any moment will grow because it costs too much to heat your house. We don't have that here. So there are all these facts exist here and I just wanted to introduce you because it's a very nice audience out here. Nobody called? How about that? Yeah. Middle of November. <laughs> I'm using solar energy here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Any questions while we're out here? Hello. Five or six cords. Eleven. Eleven cords. Okay, that's it's more like five or six. My house is heat with one cord of wood, which in where I am you can have delivered wild for about three hundred bucks. That's your yearly cost. You run the wood stove nearly wide open, 70% of draft. You will see it in here. Above the wood stove, there's a register you open when you're operating the wood stove. And that's an intake. 70% of the in output of the wood stove goes in this register and all over the whole house in the mass system. So we're substituting solar energy collected across 60 or 70 years for the energy we don't have. This house also has an alternate system, which I assume the owners have left on. And this here it is a gas-fired closed combustion, very important, we don't want combustion in there with you, closed combustion, a stainless steel chamber, hot water tank. And it's, there's a propane tank on the north side of this house, 1,000 gallons buried in the ground. He has to buy propane once every three years. He buys it when the price is lowest. It heats hot water. If you need energy or need heat, a zone, small pump, delivers some of the hot water over to the air shaft to a coil, like an automobile radiator, heat the air, which heats the mass, which heats your house. You never feel the heat come on. The temperature is always within two or three degrees all the time. So your heat exchanger in the air duct is just a coil? Coil. Think of an automobile radiator if you don't know what they're like. Yeah. And you'll see it here. Okay. So it's, it's simple. I have, the best system is a ground source heat pump. Okay. Using electricity, it will supply you with heat, hot water, and air conditioning house like this, about $700 a year. Inside, there is a performance sheet. The man who lives here is an engineer. I wish he was here. He'll, he would give the talk. Uh, he has a performance of his house for the last 11 years, and you're free to take one. There will be some literature on the table in there from my company, if you're interested. There are plans of the ductwork in there, and there are plans of three or four other houses I've done, just as a suggestion.